the hammer throw started things this morning. Mike Powell with that outstanding leap in the long jump, and now a great pole vault competition. One of the outstanding pole vault competitions in U.S. history. Five vaulters over 18, eight and three quarters, and Corey Tarpening over 19, two and three quarters with a little help from his hand up at the top. How did that bar stay on? Tarpening, an injured groin muscle, did not hold him back. His best vault since 1988. Now here's a man who's been strong all year. Dean Starkey won at Mount Sack earlier this season. Cleared 19 feet for the first time a year ago. Here he is at 19-4 and three quarters, and he's over. Dean Starkey becomes the third best vaulter in U.S. history, 19-4 and three quarters. This guy has improved or had a personal best every year since he was a junior in high school back in 1984. Tarpening congratulating him there. He only cleared 19 feet for the first time a year ago. And he waited on the runway so that the wind would be in his favor. Look at him help the bar with his hand up at the top. And that kept it on. Watch this, Starkey at the top reaches out his left hand, steadies the bar. They call that vaulting after Dave Volt, leading U.S. competitor for a number of years who perfected that technique. Look at the determination on the face of Dean Starkey. Clearly the favorite now going into the U.S. Olympic trials as this competition continues. And as we leave the, the standings, as we leave the air, the standings are as you see them with both jumpers still jumping at an American record height of 19 feet 7 inches that would break the mark of 19 six and a half by Joe Dial. 